All right. Long time no see. I'm actually uh, on my way to my weigh-in appointment. Got a lot to catch up on this week. Uh, I've been sick all week. It's been horrible. And uh, just didn't feel like getting in front of the camera. I just haven't been myself. It's been a rough uh, three days. It's been a rough two weeks. This nasty cough that I got. Anyways, heading to my appointment. Gotta walk down this long hallway again. So I'll fill you in. Uh, so far, I haven't eaten anything today. My appointment's at 2.30. Woke up late. I uh, didn't sleep very well, actually. Took two melatonin last night, not knowing that they were 10 milligrams each. So I took 20 milligrams of melatonin, which I've never taken that much before. So I slept till about 12.30 today. And uh, yeah, now I'm heading to my appointment. I weighed in this morning at 387, which is a pound more than I weighed in last Thursday. So I'm a little disappointed, but not too bad. All right, I'm here. All right, guys, that was really cool. Uh, I weighed in at 390.0, right at 390. Uh, like I said, I weighed in at home at 387, like 0.2 or something like that. So last time I was here, which is about three and a half weeks ago, I weighed in at 405. So that's 15 pounds in about three weeks. And yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit perturbed that uh, I gained a pound this past week, but I guess in the grand scheme of things, that wall's a lot further than I thought. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, <laughs> uh, you know, 15 pounds in like three weeks is not bad. I mean, that's actually pretty great. And so um, they were really impressed. She was really happy with that number. Uh, so I guess I'm happy with it. Oh, I did it again. I'll go to the basement. Not floor one. Whew. I rushed up here. I really kind of ran. I walked, I walked a lot quicker than I normally do. I didn't run. I mean, you guys saw me, but Briskly walking is not really my thing just yet. Just, just walking, leisurely walking. Here we go. Yeah, this is the right place. All right. So, ooh. yeah, that felt good. to get on here and I actually recorded a bunch of videos but I look so sick and so nasty and so defeated and so down and just so like uh and I ate I ate like garbage this weekend because I was kind of feeling like garbage I guess like I don't know it just wasn't I mean I did have soup one day a salad another day but then I had like nachos for lunch uh that was kind of, those were gross. And so my eating habits for the past three or four days haven't been great, but uh, I'm feeling better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go to the gym tonight. It's hard to go to the gym when uh, when the big kids are gone because they usually, one of them will come with me, CJ or Aiden, and the other one will watch the little kids while Lisa's sleeping or working or whatever the case may be. Um, having them out here. Oh, and I brought Lucy. There's Lucy girl. Hi. All right. Go to your seat. Oh, thank you for shedding all over my black chairs. Go sit down. Go. Move. Get. Scat. Oh, was that tough? Was that tough being away from daddy for like a whole three minutes? Oh my goodness. Was that hard? Was that hard? So, today is Thursday. <sighs> 
March 18th, 2021. I just weighed in at 390 pounds. Uh, you know, when this all started, I was, um, well, I mean, the, the heaviest I've been, and I posted a picture on, uh, I think I, did, I posted one on here, but I posted one on Instagram as well. Uh, you know, I was, I was 460s, 464, I think was what, what I remembered weighing in at a doctor's appointment that I went to. So, whew, that's quite a bit. Still doing good. Um, yeah, I'm going to go home and eat and I'm not really sure what I'm eating yet. Uh, Elise got pizza for lunch and, uh, it's just ham, uh, ham pizza. And that's usually better than pepperoni pizza. Uh, points wise, calories wise, uh, I kind of want a salad. I don't know if we have the stuff to make a salad. And that's the other thing too, is like when all the, when, when all the kids are gone, I mean, we're down to three kids right now. We don't know how to cook. We don't know how to make things because we're used to, um, we're used to making lots of food, you know? And now it's just like, they're not here. How do we make small portions and small, how do we shop for that and do that? And so we we have we have turned to and this is a horrible habit and this is bad i'm going to i'm going to confess but we've turned to let's just order something real quick you know and that's not good we got to stop doing that and that, again it's just a it's a mindset um but we did order some groceries today um uh, but they came i think after lunch came and so i am looking scraggly that mask really messes up my beard anyways so, all right, back on the vlogging track. <laughs> Ooh, black back on the uh, the journal vlog, and uh, I'm just gonna try to kick it on here. <laughs> She's looking rather stoic. Um, another thing that went on this week that um, I tried to, to vlog yesterday and tried to journal yesterday that I just couldn't, um, I just couldn't bring myself to do it physically. I, it just, it, uh, it's, still, it's still a very, very, very tough topic and um, I just couldn't do it, I tried. And even sending out a text to my family and uh, it, it's just, it's, I die inside every time I, I, I have to think about it and it's, it's tough. Uh, but you know, yesterday was the six year anniversary of my aunt's passing and, um, it, it was a tough day. So yesterday I definitely planned on vlogging something moving and inspirational and, you know, we'll get through this, but I couldn't do it. Couldn't bring myself to do it, but, but I just did it kind of just now. And, and so that'll have to suffice uh, for now. Uh, in other news, uh, yesterday was also Aiden's birthday and St. Patrick's Day. Uh, but Aiden is now 13 years old. He's a teenager and uh, he can legally go to the gym with us. <laughs> so that'll be cool. That'll be fun for him. Um, that's the thing that he can do. You know, when you turn 18 or 21, you can do certain things. And so for him, it's going to the gym legally. <laughs> so isn't that funny, Lucy? Ow! Up here, up here. Say hi. Say hi. All right. This video is uh, running a little long. But uh, thank you guys for your support and your prayers and all of your comments and um, just all your help. I literally would not be here weighing in at 390 pounds if it wasn't for you guys. Um, I thank you to, my, to my, my wife, my beautiful, amazing, hardworking wife who... Uh, has stood by my side through this whole thing and she is she has been a rock for me um, with with this whole weight loss journey and, and battle so a huge thanks to her uh, a big thanks to my my children who are uh, currently you know they're 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 getting on the, the my fitness pal app and going to the gym with me and they're pushing me and they want to see dad happy and I want to be happy and I want to be better for them because what is the I mean, what is the point of doing all of this? What is the point of life if we're not going to be happy and if we're not going to love ourselves and love each other and push each other to be better? So, yeah, thank you, thank you guys, thank you all of you. Uh, I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to go dry my eyes and I'll see you at home. 
All right, so just a quick update while Elise and the kids run into Target. Uh, I went home and looked on my 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 Sparrow account, and uh, the last time I weighed in was February 19th. Uh, so today is uh, March 18th, so 28 days. And uh, according to my scale, uh, when I before I went to my appointment, I weighed in at uh, 387. And then I put on all my clothes and before I left the house, I weighed in at 390. When I got to my appointment, uh, I weighed in at 390. And so I guess my scale at home is accurate, uh, or at least, you know, it's uh, according according to the, the scale at the office, which is the one that I should be going off of. So uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. That means I'm, I'm actually 387 pounds today, which means in 28 days, I lost 18 pounds. Uh, I actually lost 19 pounds. This, you know, a week ago today, I, I was at 19 pounds, but still 18 pounds in 28 days. I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm okay with that. And so uh, another quick update while they're in there. I uh, just want to let you know, after I after my appointment, I did come home and have a slice of pizza. We had, uh, Elise had ordered ham and onion from Cottage Inn, medium-sized. On my fitness pal, all I can find is a large, and the large uh, came out to uh, the large with the breadstick came out to 349 calories. So, and that's all I had was just one one slice of medium ham and onion, and uh, a, a cheese stick. Actually, the, the garlic cheese sticks are lowering calories by about 40 calories than the actual breadstick. So, I had a cheese stick and bread and and uh, and the and the slice of pepperoni or the slice of ham and onion. And uh, so three three forty nine, and that's all I've used today. And for some reason, I've just got a ton of energy, uh, feeling good, uh, getting back into the swing of things after feeling like crap for three days. Um, and so tonight, I plan on going to the gym after Elise goes to bed. She's um, I'm gonna put the kids to bed. She's gonna go to bed, and I'm gonna try to sneak out for about an hour or two and go to the gym and try to get my steps in. Right now I'm only at about 2,000 steps for the day. I wanna hit my 10,000 goal and uh, get, get those steps in. Uh, for dinner, I'm thinking, uh, I, I wanna to try to make a protein shake. Uh, we do have groceries ordered. I'm gonna see if I can make like a, uh, use my fair life and uh, add in like an apple and a banana and some spinach and maybe some uh, a little extra protein powder or something like that and try to make a protein shake for dinner and then maybe have another one when I get home from the gym or just like a, a, a zone perfect bar or something like that, some, some more protein after I work out. So I'm back on track. I'm gonna continue to lose weight and I've got a goal set, sort of kinda. I, on the 22nd, which is next Monday, I've gotta go in for my sleep test or my sleep, uh, the CPAP machine uh, fitting. And then once I get the, um, once I have that for two weeks, uh, I'm doing that consistently for two weeks, then we'll schedule my surgery. Uh, and usually after you schedule, I guess they, they schedule the surgeries within a week or two. So a month from now, I could be getting my surgery. So I'm pretty excited about that. If I could drop another 10 to 15 pounds before then, again, I'm trying to lose weight so that my recovery time is better. I wanna hit the gym. I wanna get into a routine so that when my, um, when I get my surgery, I'm gonna be feeling okay. And I won't be, um, you know, I won't be having the back pains cause I'll, I'll be on bed rest for some people say seven to 10 days. So I, I'm trying to lose weight so that I feel good. After the surgery, I'm still definitely going ahead with the surgery. Something I've been toying around with in my mind the past few days is do I really need the bariatric surgery? Can I lose all this weight by myself? And I, you know, Ooh, that's a tough question. I, I'd like to say yes. I'd like to say I can, but at the same time, I know, uh, I know my body and I know my my lifestyle, and I and I just feel like this is the push that I've needed to get motivated. And and once I like, I want to see what I look like at 199 pounds or less. Uh, I'm supposed to be from my uh, height and age. I'm supposed to be at about 160 to 165 pounds. And if I want to see that, which I kind of do just out of curiosity, I want to see if I can get down to that weight. And I don't think I'll be able to do that uh, ever on my own. 
and I would love to be that thin. I would love to sprint and run and maybe do a triathlon or a another Tough Mudder or, um, or well, no, I didn't do a Tough Mudder. I'm sorry, I did a Warrior Dash, but I'd love to do a Tough Mudder or a Spartan Race or something like that. I want to get as thin as I possibly can. Not thin, I want to get as fit as I possibly can and I want to be happy with my body. Uh, I've never been able to take my shirt off um, God, I think the last time I was, I was trying to think, uh, I, I went to an air show back when I was like 16 or 17 and I walked around with my top off, with my, not my top off, my, my shirt off. <laughs> it sounds provocative when you say your top off, uh, with, with my shirt off. I remember having, and I remember this because I had my shirt over my shoulder and when I got home, I noticed that half of my body was sunburnt <laughs> and I had that sunburn for a while. Uh, but I remember that's the last time in public when I was like 16 or 17 that I actually took my shirt off and felt comfortable walking around with my shirt off. And even then I was probably two, 220, 230. Uh, so that's, that's, you know, I want to see how fit, how thin I can get and stay in that comfortable range and have, I feel like I need something drastic in my life to change. And I think the, the size of my stomach, that can be the first, that can be the first thing to go. Uh, as well as, <coughs> excuse me, my, my eating habits and things like that. I'm not really there on the self-control part of this yet, and I'm hoping to get there. That's hard. Having self-control, eating healthy, that's the hard part. The first time I lost uh, a lot of weight, I lost about 136 pounds. And uh, I say about, but it was exactly 136 pounds. And, uh, you know, people would say, oh, how did you do it? How did you do it? And I'd say, well, you know, self-control, that's a big thing. But was it purely my self-control? No, I was taking products uh, by a certain weight loss company and that helped me. I'd, I've never really done it on my own. Can I do it on my own? Maybe, probably, I don't know. But I, I do need something different in my life. So that's why I've chosen to do the bariatric surgery. Uh, also, another upside to having the bariatric surgery is that if I were to lose a bunch of weight and I have a lot of like skin, um, that is something that would be covered by my insurance as well. So I'm going from 464 pounds down to 165-ish. I'd love to just see 199, quite honestly, but if I can keep going, then I would. And uh, which means I'm probably gonna have a lot of skin and, and uh, and then to, to be able to take care of that extra skin and to really live a lifestyle that I've always wanted to live. Um, that, that's what I'm shooting for. So sorry this video is so long. I, it's been a long time. It's been, you know, three days or so since I've shared any of this stuff. So I want to make sure I'm hitting all the boxes uh, and I really miss doing this. So uh, that's, I'm going to pull around and see if they're out, but uh, that's where I'm at so far with dinner and then uh and then gotta hit the gym so i'll keep you posted on all that stuff all right so change of plans uh after target i dropped at least the kids off at home and uh she said uh now would be a good time to go to the gym and and uh, she was just gonna make dinner for them i'm gonna try to uh i don't think the bananas came in the order yet but uh, we do have some frozen berries i'm gonna try to make a um a shake, whoo, protein shake. I hit it hard. Uh, I did, uh, let me tell you real quick. I did uh, a little bit more than half a mile on the treadmill. What I'm doing is is uh, five minutes, three times, taking a, a one minute break in between. And uh, that's that's about all I can do for now. Uh, but that, that, that number's gonna go up. Uh, I'm excited to see that number go up. So five minutes, uh, three sets of five, and that gets me just above half a mile to just to warm up, get the blood pumping. And then from there, I went to every upper body, chest and back machine I could find and uh, worked out my forearms, my biceps, my triceps, my shoulders, my back, uh, just the whole upper body. And uh, that was a blast. It took about uh, about an hour, every bit of an hour. And so now I'm going to go home and uh, see, if, see if I can get a protein shake made. I don't know why I'm still showing you Planet Fitness. Yes, it's right there. I went. Uh, <laughs> and so, uh, heading home. Yeah, let's go see what we can make out of some frozen stuff and uh, some spinach. It should be good. All right, so I guess that was a 
like a real workout because I am exhausted. Uh, typically, I have one of the boys with me or Elise with me, and we just kind of take turns on machines and kind of pace ourselves and stretch it out over the course of an hour and a half or so. But for me, that was a quick, like one hour, just hitting it hard. And uh, if I feel good, you know, it feels good. I, I have a feeling I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feel a little bit more pain tomorrow. You know what I mean? But uh, it feels good. Uh, we can't find the pieces to our blender today. And so I'm just going to have a Fairlife shake uh, for the protein uh, because there's 30 grams of protein in these bad boys and they're so good. And I haven't had one in a while. And then I found the last uh, peanut butter uh, banana bar and a, a cliff bar. And so I'm gonna, that's gonna be my dinner for now, I think. Uh, I'm not really hungry, but I do wanna eat something because I haven't eaten since about three o'clock when I had that slice of pizza and cheese stick. So that's dinner. I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here. Uh, there's really nothing else to talk about. So thank you again for watching. Oh, you peed yeah. in the toilet yeah. just now? Yeah. High five up here. Slap it. Slap it and let go. S no, no, grab. Just slap, slap and go. And go. Slap and go. Go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll get there. Thanks again for watching. I love you guys. Uh, and I just hope you have a great night. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, 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 be kind. Be kind to somebody. Because uh, you never know what people are going through. You know, and uh, it's just the right thing to do. So be kind to somebody. Love you guys. Bye.